Guy Reschenthal, let me get your take on uh, assessing this economy and what you can do about it in your role. Look, the Appropriations Committee uh, and the appropriations process has been talked about a lot by Republicans, and that's your only lever, the power of the purse. What can you do in the face of all of this rulemaking and new rules for the Biden administration where they're pushing this climate change agenda throughout their administration, throughout the federal government, and, and, and in effect, uh, contributing to this slowdown in the economy. Well, Maria, without a doubt, we're seeing this because there's over-regulation. There's also reckless, out-of-control spending by Biden and the Democrats. But what can we do about it on the Appropriations Committee? What can members of the GOP do? Well, we just did it. We had the Limit, Save, Grow Act that passed out of the House yesterday. And we limit spending. We go back to fiscal year 22 levels. We also make sure we have a cap of 1% growth every year for the next 10 years. We save taxpayers, taxpayers money because we have Medicaid work requirements. We claw back the unspent COVID money. And then lastly, we're going to grow the economy with this plan because we're going to finally get the RAINS Act passed, which will rein in reckless, out of control regulation by unelected career bureaucrats in the administration. We'll require congressional approval for anything scoring over $100 million of economic impact. We'll also uh, repeal a lot of the Green New Deal tax credits. We'll have permitting reform as well to unleash American energy. So that's what we're doing in Congress. But I'll tell you, Joe Biden has managed to disappoint not only Wall Street by not meeting expectate, not beating expectations. He's had seven or eight quarters already. He's he's beat expectations, Maria, once in seven or eight quarters. It's quite quite astounding his horrible, abysmal uh, record of failure here. But he's also disappointed Main Street. If you go into a grocery store, people are having a hard time affording basic needs. They're having a hard time filling up their pumps uh, at, at, at gas stations. The average American has lost between seven and eight thousand dollars a year just because of Biden's inflation.